Welcome to I Love Pharmacology. Today we'll see about succinyl choline apnea. Coming to the specific learning objectives, we should be able to describe what is succinyl choline, how succinyl choline metabolism will occur, and how succinyl choline apnea will occur. So, coming to the succinyl choline, succinyl choline is also known as succamethonium. It is a depolarizing blocker or it was also called as non-competitive blocker it is a skeletal muscle relaxant so most commonly it is used as a muscle relaxant so the indications will be where we require a muscle relaxation so that the procedure can be done smoothly in case of laryngoscopy and endotracheal intubation these are the indications why they are uh, preferred in such cases means they have quick onset of action that is onset of action is within 1 to 1.5 minutes and they acts for a very short duration of time that is 5 to 8 minutes it is a ultra short acting drug so normally this succinyl colon will be metabolized by the butyryl choline esterase butyryl choline esterase so where do we see succinyl choline apnea succinyl choline apnea is seen in individual who has genetically determined deficiency of the pseudo choline esterase which is also known as butyryl choline esterase so normally succinyl choline is metabolized by butyryl choline esterase in a normal individual but in case of genetic polymorphism the only half of the succinyl choline will be metabolized by the pseudo choline esterase so what happens to the remaining succinyl choline it gets accumulated so in case of genetic polymorphic individual or atypical pseudocholine esterase it will leads to succinyl choline accumulation because half of the drug will not be metabolized thereby it causes paralysis already we know that it is a muscle relaxant so it leads to the prolonged respiratory paralysis which is lead which is leading to succinyl choline apnea so the adverse effects of succinyl choline Apart from this, is it can cause hyperkalemia, it can cause malignant hyperthermia. And what are the contraindications? They are contraindicated in neurological disorders like paraplegia and hemiplegia, and also in case of myasthenia gravis. Thank you. The more updates you can like and subscribe to I Love Pharmacology. Thank you.